nostalgic. What's that you say? No! Sega announced something new! <laughs> That's right! Sega recently just announced a new mini console, and you'd think that with the success of the Sega Genesis Mini and the Mega Drive Mini, that we would be getting like another home console mini, but no! Sega surprises us yet again! And since I'm such a... what did that guy call me? Um, um... Oh, here we go. Bitch-ass Sega of America fanboys. Eh. That's right, the Sega Astro City arcade cabinets, which are very, very popular in Japan. It's actually the standard arcade cabinet that you'll see in most arcades that you go to in Japan. As much as I like the American arcade cabinets, I do prefer this style just because it looks more futury and I don't know, there's something about it that I just really like. As you can see from these pictures, the marquee has a little light strip on it, which looks really cool and authentic. It's got six buttons, a joystick, and two probably start and menu buttons, I'm assuming. This one has a micro USB cable, I believe that is, on the far right, which is for power, has a headphone jack, two USB cables, an HDMI cable, and a little power switch that I guess you can just power it on and off if you don't want to leave it on or unplugged. It does look like there is a battery compartment on the back, but I think that's just for aesthetics, for um, what the actual arcade cabinets have when you go to switch in the cartridges in real life. There's only 10 games that have been announced so far, but there's 36 in total that are gonna be packed into this little arcade cabinet. You're not gonna see any Sonic games on this. This is arcade games only, and Sonic was never really on the arcade if I'm remembering correctly. This thing is very reminiscent of the Neo Geo mini console that came out not too long ago, and actually did a video on the international version of that one, which is not actually sold only in Japan. It was an American version that was just with Japanese games. The Astro City Mini is set to release in Japan at the end of this year, and it has a price tag of uh, 12,800 yen, which is about $120 US, but I'm sure people are gonna be importing this left and right once it comes out, and then getting the American version whenever that is set to release. I'm really excited for this. I love that Sega is announcing all of these mini consoles, even though a lot of people were butthurt about the four I guess mini Game Gear things where you have to buy all of them if you want to get all the games. I don't care about that. I thought it was actually a pretty good idea because they're novelty. You're not going to really play video games on these. They're for collecting purposes and, you know, for nostalgia. If you want to play an actual Game Gear game, just get a Game Gear or emulate it. It's that easy. You don't need to complain about it. These are just novelty. You know, they're fun to just have and to, you know, Hey, I have this little mini arcade cabinet. Want to take a look? Oh, sure. Hey, that's cool. That's about it. I will be giving more information on the games that are coming out for this as they get announced, and um, or maybe I won't. I, I probably won't. I know everyone has a little soft spot for Sega still in their heart, as do I, obviously. So what do you guys think about this? What's your opinion? Are you going to get this when it comes out? Are you excited to see the little mini arcade machines that are coming from Sega, or the mini Sega Game Gear, what have you? Anyway, that's going to do it for this video, you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'd like to give a huge shout out to my Patreon supporters. Thank you guys so much. Nuka P. Demon on YouTube. Russ Lyman on YouTube. Dren Hotamata on YouTube. Creep Queen on Twitch. Uneven Pavement. Sean Phillips. Mr. Pisley. Amanda. Anonymous. Aaron Parks. Nintendo 25 on YouTube. And last but certainly not least, Looney. If you guys want to get your own personal shout out, link is down below to my Patreon. It's a $1 a month tier that gets you a shout out at the end of every video that I do. <laughs> And I also have merch if you're interested in a Nerd Lair t-shirt. Go check the link down below. And if you buy something from there, thank you. Again, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit the like and subscribe button because I do stuff like this every week. So there's always something to watch and dislike the video if you dislike it. You're not going to hurt my feelings. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you guys next time in the Nerd Lair. Stay nostalgic.